quick note, um, <clears throat> there's going to be two vlogs this week. Uh, this first one is mostly, well, it's actually all just my Edmonton trip. And then uh, I've got some more stuff that I did after that when I got back to Lethbridge. I was only in Edmonton for one night, um, but you'll check it out. And uh, yeah, there'll be another one following that that's got some other fun stuff. So those are the vlogs this week. Okay, anyway, rude. That's how we're starting this vlog off. Hell yeah. Uh, I wasn't really excited for this trip at all until I kind of got on the road here. Uh, I'm gonna go and do a couple things that'll be kind of cool, I guess, but I'm losing a lot of money. So I think I mentioned a while ago, over a month ago, that I'm gonna, I was gonna have some work, some paintings uh, at a cafe called Block 1912 in Edmonton. Laura Lee went and uh, installed that for me. And now I gotta go and pick it up. So it was just stressing because I didn't have a place to stay for a while. And uh, old acquaintance Josh reached out and uh, I kind of forgot he lived in Edmonton. So um, yeah, I'll be hanging out with him. I haven't seen him in a long time. So get to catch up there, that'll be cool. And uh, I don't know, I just wasn't, again, I wasn't really looking forward to until I got on the road just because I gotta go pick up all these paintings. Uh, I have 15 of them there, and only one, two sold, only one sold so far that I've got the money for. The other one I'm actually taking back to Lethbridge because someone at Lethbridge wants it. So, needless to say, they weren't crazy expensive pieces, so I'm losing money on the gas and, like, alone. Just the gas there, one way, I'm losing money on. But also, I'm, like, driving 10 hours just to stay for like one night and then turn around and head back. But I'm so glad I have a place to stay and it's someone that I know and whatever because uh, I wouldn't want to do a 10 hour drive in one day, like go there, get my stuff and leave. Like that would suck. So I'm gonna try to do a couple things while I'm here before I meet up with Josh. Uh, I'm gonna try to get to the gallery, Alberta Edmonton, or Alberta Edmonton, was it Alberta Art Gallery or Art Gallery of Alberta or whatever. I don't remember what it's called. I'm gonna hit up a few bookstores. I just complained about the money and I'm gonna go to a couple bookstores, but it's one of those things too where it's like, well, Edmonton has stuff that I don't have in Lethbridge. Like, there's a couple things I, I'm on the lookout for and maybe I'll find them. Man, there's a lot of cars just like abandoned in the ditch. Like, there was like a section, there was like five minutes and I saw like three cars just like off in the ditch. Some like really far off in the ditch. One was like on the shoulder all smashed up and had like caution tape around it. They looked like they'd been there a bit. I don't know. Uh, a lot of cops on this highway. I haven't seen this many highway or like many people pulled over. Um, like in, I guess it's in between Calgary and here. Before Calgary, maybe there was one, but like, yeah. So that's cool. Anyway, uh, I would like to get better at storytelling. I was just thinking about it and I was like, you know, I want to do like some story time and, and, and talk, like continue this like thing about how I got involved in graffiti. And then I was thinking like, man, like I love storytellers, like good storytellers, like Henry Rollins and, and like, um, uh, Charlie Murphy, like Charlie Murphy was a great storyteller. Like some of my favorite things on Dave Chappelle's show was Charlie Murphy's like E true Hollywood stories or whatever and they were so good like it wasn't just that they would cut away to like this this like sketch where where Dave Chappelle was like acting it out kind of with some other people but just he's a good storyteller like Charlie Murphy was a good storyteller um, unfortunately passed a couple years ago uh, but anyway I'm just thinking like I would like to get better at that but that that's gonna take uh, a lot of work. I think that once you tell the same story a couple times, or the more you tell the story, that might help. That might be something like it's obvious that that would help. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, maybe it's natural. Maybe it's not. Um, I feel like I have trouble telling stories sometimes because of. Uh, 
I get into like circular thinking or I forget what this, like, I don't think these really good storytellers have a bunch of handwritten notes, but maybe they do to like recall the story. Like again, I think just telling the story a bunch would help. So unfortunately for y'all, I've never really told some of these stories before or in that way, or some of them I just haven't told these stories for a long time because I told the story when it first happened or something like that. But I mean, for some of this, I'm recalling my history in a way that doesn't happen very often. So hopefully the storytelling gets better. Whew. Rolled up into Edmonton. Uh, beautiful city, at least the, the place, the side that I came in. I haven't been here in a while and uh, love it. I don't know. A lot of people were like, oh, Edmonton's dirty. Uh, I don't know. I really like it. I really like, I, I like the layout. I like the city. At least, like I said, the way that I came in, it's pretty nice. I'm just at the um, Alberta Art Gallery right now, about to head in there. I wish I was filming more of the drive because I saw some like pretty sick stuff, like murals and whatnot. So um, I might do that when I head to these other places. Um, but there's something I was gonna say. Don't remember what it was. So uh, let's just head in there. Yeah. like the uh, Alberta Art Alberta Alberta Gallery of Art Art Gallery of Alberta been uh, vandalizing this pole but it's closed. Well, that was dumb. This is why you do your research first, folks. Don't be a dummy like me. I just spent a dollar in parking, then go to the gallery, and then realize that there's an admission, a $10 admission. And I'm all cheesed off because I actually like went to the Alberta Gallery, or the Art Gallery of Alberta or whatever, like society first, which was like, I mean, it was only like five minutes away, but I like went there and I was like, this isn't a gallery. And then I came here, paid my parking, which is already annoying because it's a Saturday. I'm never used to paying for parking on weekends, but whatever. And then I'm like, oh, it's another 10 bucks to go in there. I've only got an hour, which I could probably move through it in an hour, but if I'm paying 10 bucks, I didn't want to be in a rush. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go in here. I'll hang out, I'll chill. Then I'll go and there's like a bookstore I want to go to. And like, I'm going to stop by the cafe and look at stuff before I take it down tomorrow. I would rather go buy a book right now and walk around downtown and check out some alleys and spend 10 bucks at the gallery, which that's just the decision I'm making right now. I just wish I knew that before. I maybe would have got here earlier. I would. I, I just don't like being surprised. So I'm an idiot. I should have done the research. So sorry, fancy gallery, but not today.
there will be no seance from me. So, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm proud of myself. Went to the two bookstores. We only got to see one. And then I went to a music store. I only spent 20 bucks. Okay, settle down. I'm not even moving right now. Okay, anyway, rude. Uh, <laughs> I, I spent less than 20 bucks, bought three books. And, um, however, I'm kind of embarrassed, but not, and, like, <laughs> I, uh, coincidentally, when I went to that record store in Calgary, I saw this, th like, that whole section of, like, goth industrial 70s, 80s stuff, and there was, like, Amon Duel 2 or whatever, I don't know how to pronounce their name, but I saw another vinyl by them when I walked into this record store, I was like, oh, sick, it was uh, 10 bucks, like, this will be sick, um, it looked beautiful, and it was on display and stuff, I was like, awesome. So I go and I take it to the counter after I look around a bit and I'm like, oh, that'll be 105. And I just like, like just a split second I froze and then I reached into my pocket to grab my wallet. Like it was almost simultaneous when she said that. And then I was like, oh, oh crap. Like I don't have my wallet. Uh, I, I did, but 105 bucks, like it must've said a hundred dollars and I didn't, I don't, I don't remember seeing that many zeros. I don't remember seeing like I thought it was one zero decimal zero zero. That's what I remember, but I didn't want to do a double take and be like, "What?" Like, and then, and then, uh, be like, "Oh, I thought it was ten dollars. My bad." Because I was pretty sure they were accurate, not me. So I felt like an idiot for one second, and then I was like, "When do you close?" And anyway, uh, needless to say, I did not get that. Uh, but yeah, I went to three places. Whatever. I don't know. I'm really tired now, so. Yeah, uh, that's lame. I feel like it was lame. I feel like I kind of like, I saw some cool places. There's a lot of sick stuff. I guess that's the that's the main thing I accomplished was that I got to like drive around Edmonton a bit, walk around Edmonton a bit, see some pretty cool stuff. I took one photo I kind of liked, 
but uh, there's some sick stores. Uh, yeah, I would love to spend more time in them if I also had more money. So I'm kind of glad I didn't have a lot of time because I don't have a lot of money. So I am driving back to Lethbridge from Edmonton. Um, so I was there for like 20 hours. So it's, uh, yeah, it wasn't crazy exciting. Um, <clears throat> But uh, I didn't get as much in as I wanted to, of course, I wasn't there very long, but had a little bit of a visit with a friend and kind uh, of reconnected there, learned some stuff, got my artwork back. Again, it wasn't, I knew going into it wasn't gonna be a fun trip. There's a couple, I, I mean, I was glad to, to see White Ave and stuff and kind of go into some shops there and there's some pretty cool spots. But anyway, I'm listening to a podcast right now, Serial. Uh, I listened to a lot of it on the drive up and and now on the drive back and I was just thinking in relation to uh, last week I talked about like um, distracting yourself from reality and and stuff in a conversation and on that note I don't remember now I remember like not being too impressed myself with that conversation um, but uh, along those lines and on that note, something I don't think I brought up, and I, I think I'm gonna have like a review of podcasts in general. Uh, I'm gonna have like a, like a video review, but I'll mention this now because it makes more sense to put here, is that I love podcasts. Uh, I got into them like a couple of years ago and I'll talk about that in that review as to why and how I got into them and, and really how they helped save my sanity <laughs> amongst other things. But there's this thing with them that since, or how I've started using them, and I've known for a couple of years now that it's been detrimental in some areas, because a podcast is more engaging to me than music is, in that it's less, like they're both passive because all I have to do is listen, but when I'm listening to music, I don't necessarily start thinking about what I'm listening to and I don't react to it like, oh, that makes me angry because this thing's happening and, and like it's injustice or like, oh, that's hilarious, that's really funny or like whatever. It's a little less engaging and it's a little more passive to listen to music. And I listen to podcasts, sometimes replacing times where I would have listened to music like in the car. Um, I mean, I still listen to music in the car, but it depends on how long the trip is and stuff. And then at home doing chores and stuff like that, it's like all podcasts before it used to be music. And I found that <laughs> The detriment, the way that I use them, I use them so much, too much. I listen to podcasts way too much, and it's all, not just replaced the times I've listened to music, it's replaced the silences. So, like, normally I would not have, you know, taken music into the washroom when I'm getting ready to, to leave, or like to go shower and stuff like that. Um, but I take podcasts in there, and I'm in there, beard oil and whatever else. And like those moments of silence, I think are pretty key for mindfulness and just time to reflect and time to just decompress even, or just time to let your mind wander. I don't let my mind wander very much. I've been aware of this for a while and conscious of it, but I just don't do it. Um, I don't, part of it is just like, I feel a little bit lonely when I do that. I start thinking about things that I don't want to think about. And that's, I should give myself that time. But I've been using podcasts in such a way for a couple of years now where I don't I don't give myself any space to have my thoughts wander into those areas that I may not want to address. Um, and that's not a good thing. So that's one of those things too where escaping reality, like not allowing myself to have these thoughts. And if I had these thoughts more often and let myself reflect or just have openness and silence more often, then I might be able to, to have less anxiety build up later on. So in saying that, I think I'm going to try to give myself more moments um, without stimuli, like podcasts, and, and see where my mind goes and see how that might make a difference in my day to day. But I love podcasts, but it's, yeah. The way that I, again, it's, I'm not using them in moderation, and that's also because I have a lot of podcasts, but I'll talk about that in the podcast review. So, just some thoughts I was thinking about.